The Winning Cures Everything Gambling Breakdown of UFC 229. Conor McGregor against Habib Nurmagomedov. A bus incident in April where Conor McGregor threw a dolly at a bus has brought us possibly the biggest UFC fight in history, right? Maybe. Maybe. They are predicting over 2 million pay-per-view buys. That is a pretty big deal. That'll be a big one. That, yeah, it's huge. It is the number two pound-for-pound pound fighter in the UFC against the number eight pound-for-pound. Pound. Number two is Conor McGregor. Number one is Habib Nurmagomedov. Look, here's the stats. They're both 155 pounds. Conor, 74 inches reach. Habib, 155. Uh, sorry, 70 inches. Good gracious. Height, Habib is 5'10". Conor's 5'9". Habib is an orthodox stance. Connor is a southpaw. They are both 30 years old. Look, Connor has not fought in like 650-something days in the UFC. Habib had a fight in April. His Connor's last fight was, was a show. Yeah. I mean, it was just a, a payday. It was it was beating Eddie Alvarez to get his second belt. He he was he went up to 155 to win another belt. When I'm talking about the Mayweather fight, which was just oh well, yeah, his last fight was his just last fight was was literally just a gimmick. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely was. Uh, he did go ten rounds with the greatest boxer in history, right? Okay, <laughs> it was a gimmick. I'm with you. I'm with you. Let's look at some of the numbers here. Connor is 24 and three, 18 knockout wins, one submission win. His three losses. All by submission. That's a pretty big deal here because Habib is 26 and 0. He's only got eight knockout wins. He's got eight submission wins. He is a ground guy. Yep. That's just what he does. He will be holding off. Look, Habib was not even on the pay per view card at UFC 205 when McGregor beat Alvarez back in November of 2016. Look, that's how much this guy has grown in just that short amount of time. Connor took time off and Habib yeah. kind of took over. Yeah, he did. And and he took he took the belt because UFC took the belt from him. Yeah. Uh Connor lands 5.82 strikes per minute. That's a 47% accuracy. Uh but he absorbs 4.55 strikes per minute. That that's a lot of hits. Uh Habib only lands 4.34 strikes per minute, which is and and, and he hits at 48% accuracy. Uh, but he only absorbs 1.55 per minute. He's a ground guy, though. He's a ground guy. So he he can't really look at strikes. He doesn't really accept many strikes. He's Habib does 5.44 takedowns for every 15 minutes of ring time. McGregor only .92 takedowns. Yeah, he's not a takedown. He's guy. not. It's, he's not a takedown these are two guy. Two completely different styles. Here's the deal, Connor, 73% takedown defense. He's only been taken down six times in yeah. his career. Four of those. We're by Chad Mendez at UFC 189. Connor was fighting with a torn ACL, and Mendez came in on like what nine days notice? Or no, no, no. This one I think was like maybe twenty days notice. I was about to say about a month. Yeah, it was. It was not much. Um, look, the last one for uh, for the Dagestani, for Habib, he took forty three strikes from Al Iaquinta at UFC 223. Kind of showed a little bit of a weakness to take a uh, take some shots there. That's what connor has been talking about in all these press conferences. How Habib has got a glass jaw. He's going to be able to take advantage of that. Let's talk some of the numbers on gambling. Okay. Right. The over-under on the rounds is two and a half. If you want to go over, you think well, it's going it, to go... Is it for the belt, so it's five? Yeah. Okay. If you think it's going to go over two and a half rounds, that is plus 110. Okay. So the books think it's going to go under two rounds. Under two rounds is minus 130. For the fight to go the distance, if you think, yes, it will go the distance, that is plus 275. That means you bet $100, you're going to win $275 because they don't think this is going the distance. You think it's you think no, it does not go the distance? That's minus 400. That means you put down $400 to just win back 100 the books are all over this being a very quick fight. Very quick. If the fight is under two rounds, McGregor's likely to win. He has not finished anybody after two rounds. Like, it, it either goes the distance and, and they do a decision, or McGregor gets beat. 
Well, that's kind of always been McGregor's thing is is he's he's in this thing in three or less. Yeah. But in this case, two or less. Oh, yeah. Really. Two or less. Yeah. Uh, if it goes longer, obviously Habib will be favored. Look, let, go on and give me your pick first. I'm, I don't follow UFC as nearly as much as you do or a, a lot of other sports fans just because I don't know who any of these guys are. I know this. I figured out who Conor was a long time ago. I, I really like Conor McGregor. I'm going to keep betting Conor McGregor until I'm disappointed in him. I haven't won every fight, but I'm going to keep betting on him. That makes sense. I'm catching points with him. I get positive money. Yeah, he, McGregor right now is plus 135. If I'm, you want to bet Habib, he is the yeah. favorite at minus 160 to win the fight. I'm going to, I'm going to keep riding my boy Conor. I am doing the exact same thing. I've, I've already got money on McGregor. I actually got him at plus 150. I got him at plus 140. It is currently plus 135. Go down to any of the uh, sports books down in Tunica, Mississippi. TunicaTravel.com for more information on that. You can put your money down at any one of those. They will be showing the fight. I actually believe I'm going to be down at first jackpot Saturday night. There you go. So I'll be down at first jackpot watching the fight there. Uh, myself and, uh, and a few buddies. I like Connor to catch Habib. He has not fought anybody that can throw punches like this. Ally Quinta had no shot of knocking out Habib. No, he was he was no. a he's last a, minute addition. It he's was not like nearly a, as strong as Connor. It was like a day before the fight. Yeah, Connor with that left hand. I'm telling you, like I I I love this. The smart play here is Habib, right? Because he doesn't he doesn't take a whole lot of blows. He knows how to dodge punches. He is he goes for takedowns. But Connor with that 73 percent takedown defense. Only been taken down six times in his career. Well, if, if the the smart bet to me, I, I, if I wanted to hedge a little, I'd bet a little on the over two and a half so I can get some positive money there. Once it goes over two and a half, it's probably it's, Habib's it's fight. It's probably going to be Habib's fight. Connor throws a lot of punches. He wears himself out quick. But once he's worn out, you can't you can't defend those takedowns. Yeah. And that's when you get submitted. Exactly. So, uh, the smart play, take Connor. Know. Yeah, and then take uh, take over two and a half. I don't know. Like, because I mean, you might I, lose the two and a half. I won't, but. I won't be betting them both, but I'll I'll I'm gonna bet Connor. Yeah, that's, I just I, like I just like picking. The only time I've lost playing him is when he went up in weight to fight Diaz. That's it. Yeah, that's the only time that I've lost money when I bet Connor McGregor. Yeah, I, he uh, had to he had to change weight classes. Yep, he he went up two weight classes in what like a week. Yeah, Two weeks. I was about to say it was quick. He put on a lot of weight real fast, got beat, rematched him, beat him. Yeah, that's the way it goes. McGregor finds a way to win these kind of things. Look, Habib, undefeated, 26-0. and He ain't fought anybody like Conor McGregor yet. The double champ apologizes to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> he does what, what he wants. All right, you know what you need to be a winner now. Go down to Tunica, Mississippi. Put your money down. Put some action down at any of their six sports books: Horseshoe, Samstown, Gold Strike, Hollywood, Fitz Casino, First Jackpot. First Jackpot, the one that I'm going to be at on Saturday night. Bam! So nailed it. Go to TunicaTravel.com for more information. Go to Winning Cures Everything for more information on our picks. That's the show. Boom.